Welcome, Adam Bazalgett here in sunny Naples, Florida. I want to talk to you today about a subject a lot of people talk about, how to hit a fade with your irons. I'm two-time PGA Teacher of the Year Award winner down here, and I hope I've got some good ideas that'll help you. Stay tuned. Okay, so the fade, it's a shot a lot of the pros use. It's a high control kind of a shot. Might cost you just a little distance, uh, but it's a great shot to use. I'm gonna show you in just a moment here a close-up of the geometry of a fade. Very simple, very easy to do. Then we'll come back out and we'll give you some strategies as to how you can learn the shot and get it into your arsenal. If you like this video, by the way, please subscribe to the channel. Got lots more free content at our website and hopefully getting you a lot more free content coming. Let's have a close-up look, see if we can sort this out. Okay, simply stated, and we're assuming solid contact now, a fade happens when relative to the direction the club's moving in at the moment of contact, I'm attempting to go up this white channel, the club face is slightly open to that. Now, slightly, we'll get into the, the nitty gritty of that in just a minute, but you've got to master the feeling that the club face is just a little open relative to the swing direction. Now, exactly how you fit that into the geometry of hitting towards a green we'll get into in just a moment. Let's have a look. Okay, so now that you get a sense of the geometry of it, how are you gonna work on this? Well, to some extent, when you're fading your irons, you can just set up for it. But I'm gonna give you a little pitfall, or a little caution, I should say, on that in a minute. Now, here's our intended target line. You can see the flag there in the distance. If I'm gonna have the ball curved to the right and really get a fade in there, I've got to set up a little left of that. Now, I've arbitrarily picked a relatively sizable amount. You'll figure that out according to practice and how much fade you wanna have. But suffice it to say, I'm gonna set my body and therefore, hopefully, my swing path on this direction and the club face has to be open relative to that at impact, but this is very important. It cannot be as much open as the target line. Here's something that's critical. The ball will tend to start out more or less, at least to 75% or so, where the club face is aimed at impact, not so much where you're swinging. So if you're going to hit an effective fade, it's got to start left of the target. So you're going to set up left of the target. The club face is going to be to the right of where you're swinging, but not so far right as the ultimate target line. Now, just because you set up properly, let's say I'm as a guess 15 or so degrees left and I'm gonna have my face maybe six or seven degrees left, I'm afraid that doesn't guarantee it's gonna be there at impact. A lot of people think if they just set up that way, it's a guarantee, it isn't, unless you're a machine. Believe me, by the time the club moves seven, eight, nine feet and comes all the way back and you've engaged your lower body, etc., a few degrees of difference is very easy to happen. By the way, one stroke of the second hand, one tick of the second hand on a clock is six degrees. Six degrees off with the club face here is a catastrophic or huge difference. So it's the genius of the brain that allows through practice for you to develop that. That's why there's no just pat formulas that allow you to do it. You've got to develop that skill. What we are trying to do here, and I hope doing a good job, is give you the at least the layout of what's required so you can practice it. So one final pitfall, as I mentioned, don't just assume because you set up for a fade, it's guaranteed to happen. You've got to feel it a little bit at impact. Now, we never want to swing outside our usual plane trying to fade. Maybe if you were trying to hit some massive slice out of the trees, you'd do that. We still want to swing on a good and appropriate plane, coming from the inside a little bit, but you've got to feel through the ball, I think, that you're, you're the handle of the golf club and your arms are starting to track around you a little bit. That's going to make sure your path is left slightly at the bottom, and it also is a lot easier to keep the heel in front of the toe, to keep the club face open, if your arms are closer to you over here. If your arms snap out away from you, in all likelihood, the club is likely to snap over. So when you practice these shots, practice some small swings and feel like your finish is a little more over here, just on a small scale initially. And just a little bit of that through impact can just ensure that the fade you've set up for is the one that you're gonna show up with. So let me try a little shot here. There's my stance. I'm just gonna rehearse that slightly. And you can probably see that ball starting to drip in there a little bit. That was on a modest size scale. Once you get good at it, ramp it up and do it on a big scale. Hope this helps you.
Well, I hope you found that video helpful. It gives you some thoughts on how to hit a fade. It can be a very valuable shot with an iron. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button or subscribe to the channel. Better yet, we'll get you lots and lots of content coming for free. Take advantage of that. There's a course right there on how to add yardage to your shots. Would love you to take advantage of that for free. And uh, I appreciate your time and interest, and I hope these videos are helping you.